Welcome to another part of Times Two. This time we're doing the worst fucking level of the entire story mode game, Am Smasher. Let's go for the story, shall we? Mr. Kallus has been trying to take over the world again. His secret arm base has to stay at the art Am Smasher. Who knows what his terror organization could do with the unleashed power of subatomic particles? Does Kallus even know himself? Or the most suave and daring international playboy could escape from Kallus' clutches and force with its plans. Special Agent Harry Tipper is such a man. Be careful though. The criminal genius is so evil, I'm going faster than I'm actually reading, that he could blow up his own island and particle accelerator rather than be brought to justice. Right, so I did a little thing with uh, this Let's Play and that there is a striking system, a free strike thing called Hell Points. And this level is Hell Point 1, which is why the thumbnail has a skull on it. Right now we're going to check out the level itself on easy, but trust me, this is the hardest level of the fucking entirety of story mode and it sucks. Uh, wake, wake up, up Mr. Tipper. It seems you're my guest once again. Uh, I don't thank much of the hospitality. You never take your death seriously enough. Uh, I thought this had your stench all over it. Kalos. I'm pleased you still have your sense of smell, Mr. Tipper. Let's cut to the chase. Just give me the crystals, <laughs> and maybe I'll go easy on you. You are in no position to bargain. They will be staying with me. Has anyone ever told you you... you have a screw loose? <laughs> yes, but in two minutes I will still be in one piece, unlike yourself. Goodbye. Hey, look, we can work this out. Hey, can we talk about this? Hope you still got the guarantee, Kalos. <laughs> you all know Harry Tibbet at this point from Times Players 1. He's now to get agent instead of a police officer. And also the second player is Kitty Celeste, who is sort of uh, his girlfriend or whatever. Anyway, on easy and normal, uh, this third camera here is actually a turret. Go ahead and shoot him out. Pretty basic stuff. Alright. Once it's taken care of, we have the uh, temple uplink just on the ground for some reason now. There's a guy going over there. That's going very slow too. Let's see if I can get across and, uh, you know, take care of the gun there, if there is a gun. Yeah, there is. Okay, sans pistol. Done. Now, you might notice there's a timer here. That's because this level is gonna rush you. In order to actually complete this, you have to activate the bombs. How you activate bombs? By going to these guys. These scientists here are the only people who can actually de deactivate bombs. You can't. So you have to go find them, go near them so they can start walking over, and then take care of that shit. If you don't do that, Unfortunately, you're gonna fucking die. And the worst part is that they, if you're getting shot or whatever, there's enemies around, they're gonna be panicking, you know, hiding and shit, and they're not gonna move for a good few seconds because of that. So... It's not bad right now, you get like two minutes each time, so right now I have like almost four minutes right now. And also, dual fucking silence pistols, you'll need this badly. But, uh, yeah, outside of that, the rest of this is just, like, bullshit. Also, that guy there, with that bomb, the bomb will always be there. 
Don't rely on that guy being there all the time, though. We'll get to that. Also, Sniper. Do you have to pay that to get rid of the fire, by the way? Because there are fire around here, and we have to, you know, take out all the fire. As well as, you know, have a fire extinguisher on hand in order to take care of that shit as well. So, yeah, you can't go on forward until you get rid of all the fire, which is why the fire extinguisher exists, and you'll be needing that for any time there's fire around. If there's a little bit of fire extinguisher in it, which there is, uh, here, as well as a few other levels, you can use that to also get rid of fire on yourself, which is useful. Unfortunately, it's going to be too much useful for me here because you really do not want to be on fire at all. But, you know, just in case you're on fire, you can get rid of it by getting the fire extinguisher and spraying it on your feet with manual aim, too. Right, so, yeah, um, you'll be needing the fire extinguisher because there are two fires in this level. Uh, the first fire was right there, and the second fire is on the other end of this hallway here, in which, uh, there is essentially just a big patch of fire by the door. You need to get rid of it. Also, there is some fucking turrets around here. A lot of fun there. You have to get rid of them. Also, there's gas. The gas will kill you. But if you want to get rid of the gas, you have to go to a different room in order to find a fucking, you know, a valve. I forgot the name of it. Uh, an activator in order to get rid of the gas. Then you can go over there and get rid of a bomb, which requires you to uh, magnetize it on a magnet. It'll usually move back and forth, uh, which you'll have to, you know, grab it from there and take care of it. And the magnetization of this fucking thing is awkward. Because usually it will just like, you have to be right dead on it or else it doesn't do shit. See? So, yeah, it's going to be awkward once it starts moving. But yeah, grab it and then bring it over to that, uh, you know, crater there and then just drop it. It explodes in there and it's safe. So yeah, that one is supposed to explode, but it's supposed to explode in a safe place instead of out in the open. Uh, the rest of them you have to deactivate though with the scientists. Also, yeah, these fucking things. There are a good few of those turrets that are gonna be around here in the fucking level. And they're all gonna suck. They're all not gonna be fun. You're gonna have to deal with it. But yeah, there's the fire. You'll need the fire extinguisher to take care of all of them. Now, the thing is, the way the fire works is awkward. So here's what I have to recommend you to do. Aim a little lower than where you're aiming for the fire. Because it works better if you're aiming in like the more bomb spot of where the fire is than you should anywhere else. It's weird, but the hit spot is kind of like below the fire in a sense. If you go anywhere else, it takes longer to take care of it. Anyway, uh, the next bomb is right here, which is for easy, I believe, the last bomb to find. Uh, the scientist should be in that little building thing, I guess. Yeah, there's two of them. None of the scientists should die, by the way. And you have to open that door over there uh, in order to get over to where the boss is. See? All bombs defused. I'm going to explore around a little bit, by the way. There is an elevator here. It's very, very slow. It's useful, though. But yeah. You see, activate the reactor is not on. Well, how I activate the reactor then? Well, it's basically at the area with the bosses. And it's awkward. I'll explain the problem with the reactor. The reactor switches, oh, there are three of them, and they suck. That's, that's not a joke. They suck. Because 
sometimes they'll activate properly when you actually look at them and press the X button to, like, you know, interact with them. And sometimes they don't do shit. Sometimes they just don't do anything. And you're just kind of fucked because you're supposed to activate all three switches. But you're just standing there, looking at the fucking thing for, like, a good 30 seconds. Spamming the X button and it doesn't do shit. It's, it's fucking annoying. It really is fucking annoying. And by the time you even get the fucking switch done, a certain enemy will fucking kill you instantly. By the way, there is more to this level, but as you can tell from the left, it's blocked off by one of those building things on easy. Not normal and hard though. In fact, there's one more bomb. Yeah. Anyway, over here is the Kalos boss. You should have died. Really? Well, you're dead now. I have your fucking double Soviets, which you'll need for these pricks. Yeah. These guys. Why right not a problem on easy? But. On normal, they can be a bit annoying because they also have Soviets. And on hard, they are the worst part. They will not stop spawning. They will infinitely spawn. They will always have Soviets to fuck your day up. And they can really nail your health down quickly. They suck. But yeah, that was easy. It's not too bad. Adam Smasher is among all the levels when it comes to easy on being not bad. It's more so when you go into normal that you start to realize the bullshit this level starts to have. So first of all, you have less time now for detonation. Get used to that, it's gonna get lower from there. Now, same thing as before. First two cameras are normal cameras. The third one is a turret. So, you know the deal already. Bomb detonation in T now, the biggest problem, minutes. obviously, is taking care... Oh, by the way. Yeah, let's take care of them, shall we? There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take care of that camera as well, and let's go. So they're all dead now. That was three guys. And I got their pistols. Don't get used to that turret. I'll take care of that bomb for you. So last time, we were able to get two minutes out of this bomb. And we still kinda do. But now there are five bombs. Now, of course, the civilian casualty thing, the civilians here are the scientists. Uh, they will usually not try to kill the scientists at all. The enemies will leave them alone. The only ones who are really at threat of killing any scientist is you. So, watch who you're shooting at. They are very easy to distinguish, though, so you shouldn't ever fucking kill them anyway. And, uh, yeah. There are the yellow suited guys and the black suited guys. The yellow suited guys have one gun, the black suited have two gun. And no matter what, they're always gonna be the most annoying alongside the uh, glowing time splitter fuckers. And yeah, I'm doing my best here. You might notice the turret up there. Yeah, they now put more turrets around. They're gonna put a lot of turrets around. And that one, I think, has an indestructible fucking camera. Oh, that one's, yeah, it's indestructible, I believe. Because the camera is different. It's kind of like blocked in a sense. So unfortunately, it will never actually, you know, go down by shooting the camera. You have to shoot the actual thing and destroy it. 
However, it's so slow and delayed, it's very easy to just walk right past it and be fine. So, yeah, it's not a threat. Anyway, there's the fire. Also, we got time to mines, by the way. We got remote mines that we can throw at anything and at any time. Take note on that, alright? Take note on the fact you have remote mines. Which, by the way, I thought the remote mines would disappear. And the thing is, if you collect the remote mines, and then you die at the checkpoint, Yes, the remote mines are gone, and you don't have them. The game gets very selective on the inventory, and it only gives you the fire extinguisher unless the game glitched up, and the fucking pistols. It will never give you the time, the fucking remote mines. Nor will it let you keep the sniper rifle, that's gone too. Well, there's another guy with sniper rifle, so you can get that back, but... Yeah, time to mines. You're not getting those back for a long time if you collect them first before getting the checkpoint. So, my advice, get checkpoint, then get time to mines. They'll stay by then. But now you're wondering, well, what's the point of the time of the fucking mines? I keep saying time when they're remote. Also, there's a turret up there now. Use a sniper rifle. There are walkthroughs out there telling you to use grenades. Don't. The grenades are unpredictable. It's very hard to get the aim right for them. And I like to bounce around in weird ways. So, don't. Don't use grenades for the specific turrets. By the way, you might notice I'm being shot at because now this guy's coming out of these boxes. They're hiding, they're waiting. That was your warning. And now I'm getting shot by another guy. Fucker. Alright. Let's go. So yeah, the bomb is moving now. I have to be right directly on it correctly in order to get the monetization to work or else it just keeps going, you know, bumping about and such and not actually going upwards. And there you go. That's one of the hottest bombs in the fucking level, by the way. Bomb detonation this turret right there, take care of that. There'll be some guys waiting for me as well, take care of them. You'll notice I'm using the uh, machine gun to take care of the camera. Don't. I know that time is sparse, but don't fucking do what I did there. Use the fucking sniper rifle. Around here you have two choices, you'll see why later on hard. Uh, you have grenade and you have the rifle. And by the way, when we get into hard, that is where the fucking point is. Where the death point is. Because... Oh god. Like, on normal this is already a pain, you know? On normal, this is already like really forcing you to rush, and you're already taking a lot of damage like I have already. So it's not fun. And they are putting a lot of enemies in spots that are hard to hit them in, or they're hiding them in spots to really fuck you from behind. Not fun. When we get to hard, when we get to fucking hard, it is no joke the hardest part of the fucking game. When it comes to story mode, this level on hard is the fucking worst. Now, you already know about my thoughts on hard with Time Splitters 1, and how I thought, you know, Cyberden was absolute bullshit, but people kept saying, oh, Mansion's the worst. Mansion's harder than Cyberden. And I'm like, no! No, it's fucking not! I have proved it in every fucking way it's not. Well, I'm doing it again with this game apparently. 
Because the next level from next part in, people are saying that that's the hard one. That this one's not that bad. No! The next level is far fucking easier on hard than this one. Also, turret here as well. Use a grenade here. It's easy to get the grenade here at least. But yeah, fuck you if you actually think that the next level after this one is... No, it's the fucking level before the last level. That's it. If you think that one is the hardest compared to this one, I am a smasher. You're all... You're fucking wrong. You're fucking wrong. And by the way, we're now going to the new area, so get ready. But here's what I'll say, and this is a hint to it. Length does not equal difficulty, okay? It does not fucking equal difficulty. Just because it's longer than any other level does not fucking mean it's difficult. Anyway, there are lasers where the area is now, so I have to go and deactivate them. And around here is a scientist and a bomb. Go to the scientist. Can you fucking go? Bomb! I'll take care of that bomb Thank you. And yeah, that's the last bomb. There are no more bombs. It's only five. So luckily, the count stops there. And all the objectives stay the same. It's not the objectives I'm afraid of, though. The objectives are fine. You know, I'm not even that mad at deactivating the bombs, even. Even though the time is strict as shit on hard. No. It's the placement of all the enemies and all the turrets. This one... This fucking level has killed me more times than any other. When it comes to story mode, this level has fucked me. Also, there's two S-Steel on this one, but let's turn it up there as well. There are two S-Steel on this one. Using the fire extinguisher on the fires around here. Or, you might have noticed on the left, there was a red thing. That is the sprinkler system. If you interact with that, the sprinklers go off, and all the fire goes out. So you have two ways to deal with this area, but either way, get to the end here. Go over to that panel at the very window there, and activate it, and the laser will be gone. And then you can go on forward. It's all some ammo, some armor, all sorts of shit. Okay. Now it's taken care of, there's some enemies waiting for us, and also some armor on the corner still. That'll be like half armor though now. And uh, yeah, take care of the enemies. There are three of them now. And defeat Kalos. While dealing with a ton splitter. Now, there are two ways of dealing with this guy. One is just shooting him, my preferred way. The other is using the uh, remote mines to kill him instantly in one hit by putting them all on the ground and as soon as he starts coming in, detonate, he dies instantly. I would recommend not doing that. One, it's finicky, you might miss, you might get the timing wrong, and two, this shit, with these fuckers. Also, you gotta get the crystal, so you know. But yeah, it's normal. You know, it's fine. But then... Then we get into hard. And this is where the hell point comes in. If you can make it through this, congratulations, you are ready for challenge mode in Arcade League. You also got Callus now on normal. If you can't make it through hard, you're not getting gold in some of the fucking challenges in challenge mode and arcade league. You're not fucking getting gold. Here are the objectives. There's your time limit. Now, to be fair, 
Kalos did say two minutes. You know, in the cutscene to begin this, so this is accurate. At the same time, now all three cameras are cameras. There is no turrets. We now have to go get a fucking gun, start shooting them down ourselves. There is a gun around here. I can punch this guy though. He's not that strong. But yeah, there was a gun right by the boxes. Get that instead. But yeah, all of that was a fucking minute. I'll take care of that. There you go. So unfortunately, you might have noticed that I get two minutes back. I got a minute back. If you can even reach fucking three minutes of time on this level, congratulations. You are much better than me at this level. Because I can't. I can't get three minutes. I'm going to get fucked. My aim is god awful too, by the way. I'm not good at aiming. Which, you know, is pretty detch of fucking mental. But I'll still do my best. And I got the duel now, so I don't even care. But yeah, it's gonna get bad. By the way, ammo conservation's here too. You might notice here though, no professor. The professors, both of them, are now up on those ramps. And they're both on fire. Ready your fire extinguisher for them. And also... A lot more enemies are around here, and there is that turret, which I thought be a problem. It's not. It's really not when you really get down to it. Just run past it, you'll be fine. It doesn't try to shoot you. See? It didn't even try. The sniper there shot me. That guy tried to shoot me. That gun's just friendly. <laughs> that fucking turret's just a friendly turret. By the way, do not go up there before activating the fucking valve. There's the reason why shit's on fire. Now, you can't leave him on fire if you want. You can have, like, one of them die at least. But, I'll try to protect all of them. And yeah, I have to activate this thing now. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, that's as much time as I can get now. Two minutes. So, I have to rush. Hard. And the thing is, I don't have that much health. Now, I said that I died a lot. And I did. And, um... You'll see the death reel. You'll see it alright. Right now, I get fairly far... You know, most people would at least get this far on their first go. They'll have a lot of health out, but they'll get this far at least if they're doing hard. But then they're gonna die, like I did. And you wanna know how many times I died in fucking Am Smasher? Do you wanna know how many times I died in this fucking level? Well, here you go! Fuck this level and everything about it! So, there are a few tricks, quote unquote tricks, you have to go for. First of all, the remote mines. Plant them on the fucking walls of where these assholes are hiding. You already know where one of them is. It's right next to me on the right side. Put the fucking mine here. Now go over here, activate the valve. Get the fucking fire extinguisher, run, look behind ya, as soon as the door drops, activate it. Get your gun out, shoot him. 
go left, get the fucking shit done immediately. You have 40 fucking 40 seconds, alright? 30 to 40 seconds. Bomb detonation in Come on, fucking pick it up. Seconds. There. Drop it in. Go. Run. You have a minute 50 now. That's two minutes. Take care of this asshole. Get your rifle out. Shoot that fucking camera. Don't worry, there's more fucking rifle ammo to go. Shoot this guy with the pistol. Do not use the machine gun. Conserve the fucking gun. Now use the machine gun on that guy and on that guy. Now. Either use grenades or use the fucking rifle for the fucking two guns here and plant two mines on both sides of these walls here. Get out your fucking thing, door drops down, explode. If they're not dead, kill them immediately. Get your fire extinguisher, take care of the fire. You have a minute left. Don't fucking delay! Get your door pistols. Shoot the guy up there. Go to your left, shoot the guy up there. If you need it, activate the fucking elevator immediately. I didn't. I won't really be needing it too much. But you'll see why. Now, over here, get your rifle. There's a fucking ammo right there. Take it. Shoot this guy. Go over to your right. Shoot the guy moving over there. It's in the black. Bomb detonation. There he is. Minus Both headshots. Seconds. Now, move forward, go left, shoot this guy, get the armor. Shoot this motherfucker, shoot that motherfucker. Then go to the Fester and activate him immediately. Because now at this point you should only have 20 fucking seconds. Come on. The worst part, I had just about enough time. Yeah! That's a close fucking shave! A minute 30 now. That is well enough time to take care of the last bomb, which is the easiest one. Just get out your pistol, headshot this first guy, then machine gun the rest. Right. Go to the professor and take care of him. Take care of that bomb. Get rid of that fucking tire immediately. Activate the door here for the fire thing. I have armor. Thank God. I have health. Thank God. Right. Use the pistol for these guys. That's not a joke. Use the pistol for these guys. I hope you're good at manual aiming. Alright, grab that guy's ammo, by the way, and then go through the fucking shit. But, before you go forward, go back. Go around. Get out your rifle. You should have maybe one bullet left. If not, get out your machine gun. See this guy? Shoot him in the head. I'm going to activate this elevator, by the way. I'm also going to shoot a grenade up here to get rid of the turret. Done. Okay, so... I'm going to write this up for some ammo. It's slow, but I'm going to get that. I'm also going to check if the turret's dead. Use the fucking mini-cam for that. The fucking mini-map. It should be destroyed if you got the shot right. Right, move on forward, go around the balcony, get the ammo. You can take care of both those assholes around here too if you need to. But yeah, it's rifle ammo. You'll need it. Run down this way. Go back all the way up and go across the steam. Activate the fucking sprinkler system. Get rid of all the fire. Go over to the fucking corridor and use the rifle to shoot the turret's window camera thing out. If you miss, you have another shot to go for it. 
Then, move on forward, activate the thing. If you got full arm, which you should, don't grab the armor. If you don't have much armor, though, grab the armor. It's a full armor fill. Here's the sprinkler system, by the way. It works. There's the gun. That's all the turrets. Now then, go over forward. Activate that. Try to dodge the fucking shield. I don't need it. Get the weapons. Go forward. There's three guys. Shoot immediately. Callus will come in. Kill him immediately. Then, there is something you need to do that you would never fucking do in Time Splitters. You would never think to do this normally. Because you have no fucking reason to in this game. Once he's dead, and you have the crystal, and those guys start spawning, RUN! You have two choices, by the way. Either the elevator, or go to the fucking end where the last bomb is, and go all the way around. I'm gonna try and do both. I fucked up on the first one. And by the way, I had to kill the guys. Now... I actually did, if you were able to see from the fucking death reel, which you probably didn't, that I did try this, and I died. Because at that point, you had to start fucking dancing around dodging bullets. There's no protection for you. There is no protection for you at all on that elevator. You're gonna get shot. The better option is to go over to where the last bomb is. And by the way, the splitter, he'll always follow you. He'll always be there for you. Not these guys. They take a while. They, the guys with the gun take a while. But yeah. Now I start running. The guys are close by. The splitter is right behind me. They teleport. There's the guys just waiting for me. I kill them. And now I'm doing the opposite one, which is better. Just go over to the slope. Wait for these cunts to get close to you on the slope. Then, start fucking jumping over, and then run all the way back to the switches. You should have ample fucking time to take care of two switches. They'll be there by the time you take care of the second switch, go over the third one. Just fucking get the switch done and get to the portal. You would never fucking do this at any other point. <coughs> you would never just run away and hide from these assholes. Alright, that's all I'm fucking doing. And yeah, I nearly died again. But there you go, I did it. I got fucking lucky, and I managed. That sucked! At least we can go a bit more calmer next time, as we're going to Aztec Ruins. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for a much more calmer level.